Among the cultural things that we Arabs have and we're rejecting and refusing to fight it is free mixing, especially in weddings. And I believe that this is prevalent also here. You have men and women mixing in weddings, the groom comes in front of all the women and the bride comes wearing her haram dress, no hijab, exposing every hour possible, and she sits in front of non-mahram men, clicking photos, enjoying what they're seeing, and the poor cow next to her is just smiling and, and proud. Yeah, this is my wife. Ya khifir Allah, don't you feel like that you're not a man anymore? Where is your jealousy? Let alone, where is your Islam? Such cultural things and customs expose us big time. Because this indicates if I'm a true Muslim following the Quran or the Sunnah or otherwise. And we have habits, customs that we call part of our honor and dignity, which has nothing related to honor or dignity. In some Arab countries, we have what is known as honor killing. So if your sister, if your mother, if your daughter allegedly is dating someone or talking to someone, you feel obliged to kill her, thinking that this is part of protecting your honor, not knowing that this is part of throwing you in hell big time. This is a major sin. It has nothing to do with honor. But this is what culture does to you when you don't have Islam in your heart. Some cultures do this horrendous act, shameful act. So many parents insist not to give their daughters except to their nephews. You're not selling and buying, Akhi. This is marriage. If she doesn't have any chemistry with the man proposing, even if, her, if he was her cousin, you have no right enforcing her, even if you are her father. You have no right enforcing her. You're the one who's getting married, get married to him. <laughs> she is the one who's gonna live with him 24 seven under the same roof. So fear Allah Azza wa Jal and abide by Islam and its teachings. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, but no, by your Lord, they will not truly believe until they make you, O Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, until they make you judge concerning that over which they dispute among themselves and then find within themselves no discomfort from what you have judged and submit in full, willing submission. You will never believe until you implement this ayah in your life and accept Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam to be your judge and to be your mentor and to be your leader who would be the only one to lead you to Jannatul Naim. So, are you going to follow Sharia or are you gonna follow your whims and desires, your customs and traditions, your clans, aspirations? This is what you have to decide and the choice is yours.